Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at this fella right here. This is Samuel Adams Postseason IPA. We got a 12 ounce bottle and I know that's not picking it up very well, but it's that neon green color that I think the camera doesn't like. So 12 ounces, 4.5% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. Postseason IPA, a bright and delicious uh, session IPA that will carry you to the postseason. This 4.5% ABV beer has a bright, has a big bright tropical notes driven by a blend of hop varieties from around the world. It's the playoffs of beers. Well, all right. And, um, Kind of a little bit of a bummer about the Detroit Lions, at least on a personal note here. But we'll try again next time. Wow. And this only has 4.5% alcohol by volume. But wow, it feels stronger. And uh, this has kind of a nice taste to it, I have to say. Definitely, it has that, it's really crisp. I mean, it's seriously crisp. And it's definitely got the whole kind of the IPA bitterness and everything going with it. But it's not overpowering. It's like it's just right. It's not too weak or watery, but it's not making your lips pucker either, uh, like Two Hearted Ale from uh, Bell's Brewery does. Ooh. But it's pleasant. And again, I'm not, uh, I've said this before, I'm not the biggest IPA guy. I've gotten to the point where I like some of them. I mean, four years ago when I started this, doing these beer reviews, I absolutely hated IPAs. Um, but I've gotten a lot better with them. I don't think they'll probably ever be my favorite, but um, I've very much come to appreciate them. But, yeah, definitely, this is definitely a nice IPA. So, on a personal note, speaking of playoffs, um, the Lions did pretty good. I mean, considering this is the Detroit Lions, and that's always been um, one of the lower, uh, if not the lowest rated team in the whole uh, NFL, um, next to the Cleveland Browns, of course, which... I'm kind of sandwiched between um, Detroit. I guess you could say sort of semi-sandwiched between Detroit and Cleveland. So where I live, we've got a lot of um, Ohio State fans, a lot of and a lot of U of M fans too, a lot of Lions fans, but also Cleveland fans and Tigers and Guardians, which of course were the Indians and. Um, you know, and some Reds fans too, actually. But, uh, but yeah, it's, um, but yeah, yeah, considering what the, how the lines have been, it, it was nothing short of impressive though. But, uh, you know, try again next year and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great rest of your day.